to download GitHub, you go to desktop.github.com. Um, yeah, pretty straightforward. Let me install it. You're recording all this, right? Yeah. Okay. Now, what is the purpose of GitHub, Max? The Git GitHub helps um, collaborate on code by you basically make a change, then you synchronize it with um, GitHub, and then all everyone else can um, see that change in their version of the code. Basically, it helps work in code simultaneously. Now, you're the admin for our GitHub, for FRC557. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I'm also the co-admin. Yeah, and so is James. Okay, so when you invite, let's say you invite Faraz and Sean or Ryan to the GitHub, what can they do at that point? Um, they can modify certain repositories, which should be the FRC repositories, basically. Okay. So, um, if they make a mistake by some chance and it synchronizes back to GitHub, the code that is the official code for the robot will still be okay? No. You can undo it, though, right? Yeah, you can undo it. Okay. It, it has a revert feature. That's that's part of the reason they, you have things called commits. Right. You commit a change. You dis you put a dis little description of what you changed, and if that doesn't work out in the end, uh, you can revert that change and synchronize again. Okay. So, so it's a it's a version tracker. Right. So the idea, guys. Remember how I I'm, I'm always telling you to put comments in your code. Yeah, it's a good reason. One of the reasons why is when you when work collaboratively. Up with other people's code through GitHub, you when you commit, you still have to do a description, right? Yeah. That description serves as kind of like a comments in, in the code. So keep that in mind, okay? So once you have it downloaded, you need to log in. If you don't have an account, you need to sign up for one on github.com. So let's let's assume the person's logged in. So why don't you yeah. log in with your account? Why are there two? That's that's browser and that's GitHub. Oh, two GitHub. Oh, uh, I see. There's a GitHub desktop and that's then there's the online GitHub. No, this is fun. What is my password? I don't know my password. Alright, pause the thing so you get your alt P. So once it's logged in, you can um, fetch a repository from the online from online. So like I have a bunch, <laughs> and then the ones you want are in F under FRC five fifty seven. So then you want to put it in some folder. It doesn't really matter. Um, So here are the basic commits um, that have been done on this code, and this code is just some basic template code that was started for this year. Um, so okay, so let's say go to the basic drive sample code, and let's say that Maxi logs in and wants to take a look at that code and make a change to that code. How do they go about doing it? So, this computer doesn't have Eclipse. Wait, where did I put it? Installed it. Where did I put it? Okay. So... So, say you made a change to robot.java and it doesn't have to be with Eclipse, it could be with anything yeah but you want to use Eclipse because otherwise it, there's a, a lot of chance to make syntax mistakes right so say you wanted to just add a comment and that's it yeah So 
then here it will detect all your changes and then you add a description commit and then you sync and that's now whatever you synced will be on on online for everyone else to see if they synchronize as well they will get that change the only issue arises when two people modify the same file at the same time like they can commit commit and then they try to sync which can cause an error so the way to solve that is just to make sure you do, you're not working on separate files uh, but github al allows you to work on the same file different people at the same time nah, they just won't allow you to sync at the same time no if if there's conflicts like you change the same line you change the same line yeah that's the problem that that, right? that creates a problem right what if you don't change the same line it still creates a problem where it will ask you to merge manually right yeah, yeah. Yeah, and you, it's difficult. Like, okay. it's it creates problems. So it's just better not to work on the same file at the same time. Okay, so this is a this is a good question here, guys. Max, supposing you're working on the autonomous code for the robot. Sean, you you want to look at the code. Faraz, you want to change something, okay? Uh, Maxi, you want to work on autonomous. And let's say that you guys here, uh, we meet all meet on Wednesday afternoon, and you guys are uh, maybe in two separate places. How do you avoid um, working on the same file at the same time and trying to commit and sync at the same time? Programming group chat. Okay, so guys, in the WhatsApp, okay, in the WhatsApp, in the programming team WhatsApp, let people know if you're working on a code that you get from GitHub, let people know that you are indeed working on that code at that time, okay? That makes sure, everybody at this point is on the WhatsApp, right, for the programming team? Yeah. Okay. Is that, is, can we agree on that? Yeah. Okay, great. Okay. Anything else, Max, you want to talk about?